Here's a little interesting food for thought headache that I've been dealing with. Um, multiple sets of injectors that we've gotten for this car. OEM rebuilts and 100% new. They all leak. They leak from the top of the injector. Like on the OE ones. Right here where the blue top is assembled. Anyway, put another set in, fired it up. We have a leak at three of them, but it's where the injector goes into the rail. So I start taking them apart. I notice the O-rings are rolled. So, and they're pinched and what have you, even though they've been thoroughly lubricated, put in, what have you. So, this is one of the OE O-rings that came out originally. Note that it's square cut and fat. This is the ones that came in the Felpro kit, which is supposed to be correct, which is what these are here. Because so I've bought two or three Felpro kits now, which is what these are. Round. <laughs> Look at that. That's brand new out of the package. Oh, that's actually the old one. Yeah, no, that is brand new. And it's got a chunk out of it already. Cute. Anyway, and this is one that comes in the 100% new from Standard. So, look at that. Three completely different O-rings. That's the one from Standard. This is the one that GM gave it. And that's the one from the Felpro set. All different. Alright, so here is our OE O-ring. Fun fun. Found these locally, and they are quarter by three-eighths by one-sixteenth. And they fit okay, they're just a little bit not snug enough. You know, they're okay, but... Eh, sketchy. So this guy is a quarter by 27 64ths by 5 64ths. I've tried it on this new injector here. And that baby is tight. I love it. That's the winner. That's the one we're going to use. So we've got her figured out. Now we just need to uh, put it all together and Hope we don't got leaks. So after installing that in our test fit, it actually formed to the top of the injector, which is good. So we're gonna give those babies a try. This is the quarter by 27 64 by 5 64.